When you think about generosity in the Bible, what comes to mind? What's going on, Berean Baptist Church family? Pastor Dave here with this week's edition of the Sunday Preview for Sunday, August 18th, 2024. Well, when you think about generosity in the Bible, what comes to mind? I imagine that for most of us, it's money, but let me ask you something. What if the Bible gave us a portrait of generosity that had less to do with our money and more to do with our time and energy? And this week, we're going to be diving into a portion of scripture that I believe has huge potential to shape us into the kind of community that is a disciple-making community, that is a disciples-making disciples kind of church. Uh, I'm talking about 1 Thessalonians 2, specifically verse 8. There the Apostle Paul writes to Thessalonian Jesus followers, and he writes these words. So, being affectionately desirous of you, we were ready to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also our own selves because you had become very dear to us. I can't wait for us to be able to dive into this portion of scripture together to see how it might shape us into that kind of church that is marked by what I like to call gospel life generosity. Well, as you join us and you step into the sanctuary this Sunday, you're going to notice something new. Thanks to a generous anonymous gift by a Berean family right here, we were able to go ahead and pay in full for 240 brand new premium pew Bibles in the English Standard Version. This has been the translation of choice for me when it comes to preaching for the last several years, but even longer than that, this has been the primary translation I've used for my own personal study, prayer, and meditation of the scriptures. And so I can't wait for this to enhance and update our engagement with the scriptures as we seek to be a church that's not only a disciple-making community, but also is biblically rooted. Just a couple things I want to put on your radar for you. Number one, we are going to be singing and worshiping with the choir this week. So come ready to sing it loud to Jesus in praise of his name. The other thing I want to put on your radar is that at the end of the message, I'm going to be giving you a heads up and a glimpse into what our fall ministry year is going to look like, specifically for the fellowship hour. I know many of you have enjoyed having a season of rest and renewal, but hey, I'm with you. I'm ready to get started and dive in together into more engagement with the scriptures, community, and and connection. And so I'm going to be laying out for you our plan of what I think is going to be a great opportunity for greater discipleship here and beyond. Well, that's all I have for you this week for this edition of the Sunday Preview. Lord willing, I will see you then at the fellowship hour during the 9.30 hour, and then at 10.30, we'll be gathering in our sanctuary to worship our great God, King Jesus. Well, that's all I got for you. We'll see you then.